Yeah, well, right now it's a bit late, I think, in the Western world. I mean, ideally, the option B with lockdown uh, should have been applied much earlier in a very proactive way. You know, when things were beginning to bubble up, knowing that any pandemics, if they're bubbling up, it means weeks ago, loads of people were infected. So you, you've got it. So maybe the uh, option B with lockdown, it should have happened much, much earlier than it did. Now, Sweden, again, is fascinating because they're at an early ish stage and they have hospital capacity. And they're effectively doing option B with lockdown and they've got direct comparators in countries all around that are doing draconian lockdown. Uh, but Sweden are still not from reading the article doing what I would do. It's too gentle an option B with lockdown. You know, they're saying, you know, keep a meter or so away and don't gather more than a couple of hundred. It's it's too soft for my definition of option B. I would have liked to see Sweden do the true version where it's two meters, masks where you can get them to the people, wiping down, very spread out in stores, you know, over 65s or over 70s in Sweden are advised to stay in, but I'd have it much stronger. So do you know what I mean? Sweden's the nearest thing, but I, I fear that they're too soft on their B with lockdown. It's a pity no one's doing the real one. Ireland, the, they've kind of almost done the B with lockdown because the advice has been strong and clear on television and uh, very clear, and the Irish as well, you can call them canny or cunning, but the older people in Ireland, they saw the Italian data, and they've got the tempo of this, and older people are very much self-protecting and isolating, hugely. And uh, younger people are slightly less focused, so the schools are closed, the two meter outside the stores, the queues, people are automatically going to around 1.5 meter apart, and they're letting in groups of five or six come in as five or six go out. There's hand cleaning straight inside the door, supervised that everyone cleans hands. And um, I could add a lot more. Ireland is actually... You know, Ireland's doing pretty well, but what you described there, lockdown parties and all, I've heard, I've heard none of that, actually. Uh, so it'll be really interesting to see how all the different countries balance our fundamental question of economic disruption and its ills against degree of safety and degree of flattening, when no one, as we both admit, knows really what measures give the optimum for all of, of your humans in your country.